ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम माई बाउ टू द लॉर्ड वासुदेवा जय टू यू फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द हंड्रेड एंड एथ program I've put on this this YouTube and uh, 108 is a very good number spiritually and so I think maybe I will end them with this one it's the end of chapter 2 stanza 72 O Parta Arjuna this state is known as Brahmistiti absolute oneness with the infinite anyone who achieves this state will never again fall into delusion. Even at the moment of death, if one concentrates wholeheartedly on this state, he attains eternal, perfect, eternal bliss. And so, the goal that we are seeking in life is something that even if in this life, I know, for example, that uh, Ramakrishna gave Vivekananda, his chief disciple, a taste of the infinite joy that would be his. But then he said, I'll keep the key now locked in my pocket. And when you remember who you are, then you will leave your body. And it is true that at that state, I know my guru said to me, God won't come to you until the end of life. Death itself is the final sacrifice you have to make. And this is what we must do, that when death comes it's the most important moment in your life try always to think of that final exam and prepare yourself for it cram for it live for it understand that at that last moment krishna speaks about um, those who go who worship the lower gods go to their gods those who worship me come to me if at the last moment of life even you can keep your mind firmly fixed on God and the guru, uh, and a guru in the attainment of freedom in them. You will find what you are looking for. Some people, as has been the case certainly with me, have jobs to do. They have things to do in this world. If I were in Samadhi right now, I wouldn't be able to do these programs. I wouldn't be able to do write all the books and the music and form the communities and things that I've done. But I've not done them for myself. I've done them for God and Guru. And I i don't, what happens, whether they're successful or not successful, doesn't matter to me. I've done them, I've done my little best. And of course, I would like for people to read my books and listen to my music and so on, but I've not done it for me. And there's no personal investment in it. He did it through me. And I have found that with that attitude that uh, nothing attaches itself. It's like water off the back of a duck, just flows on. I wrote this book, The Essence of the Bhagavad Gita, which is the the, uh, teaching of my guru on the subject. And this, this goes to over 600 pages. I wrote it in less than two months. How could I do such a thing? There were guests coming to visit me. I had in the two months that I was there, less than two months. It started October 7th and finished December 5th. So two days short of two months. And I had about 30 guests. I had to go out shopping with them, to dinner with them, receive them. But every day I would write at least 10, maybe 20 pages. And if I had to stay up till three or wake up at three and start working, whatever it was, I did the whole thing in that length of time. How? Because I didn't do it. When you can feel that you are acting but not acting, when you can feel that the fruits of all your actions are not yours, when you can feel that you are living only to please Him, when you can feel that the only truth that you want is He, when there is no attachment in your heart, when there is no desire, because it's desires that bring people back to this world, But when you can feel free from all that, then when the moment of death comes, you will find your freedom in God. So live for that moment, because that will be the moment of life. And there are times when I have wished for it, I have to admit, 
But even that is a desire, and I've given that desire up. However long, this is what I have prayed to my Guru, however long you want me, last May, a few months ago, I came very close to dying. I could have died from any one of three reasons. And I said to my Guru and to the Divine Mother, whenever you want to take me, it's fine by me. But if you want me to stay here and continue serving you, it's also fine by me. It doesn't matter one way or the other. And since then, I was miraculously cured and I had become full of energy. I had to go around with a wheelchair. Now I can walk without any trouble and uh, take uh, relatively difficult walks, like climbing a very steep uh, staircase up to the top of our property here. And uh, I find that everything is better, but it doesn't matter to me. He could take me just in a moment. I would be happy. Live in that way. Live preparing for that moment when you will have to, because it does come in time. I think the best system after death is cremation. Get rid of that body. Some people hang around after death and wish they could revive that body and so on. Ghosts are a reality. But uh, sooner or later, you have to realize none of this is I. Your body will rot, but you won't rot. Your body will go up in flames. You won't go up in flames. Flames cannot burn the soul. Nothing can touch the soul. And when you are freed from your body, let it be a permanent freedom this time. You've been caught too long. Let it be the last time. Become a Jivan Mukta in this life. You can, with the right teaching, the right practice, the right beliefs, and having the blessing of a true guru. And this is the greatest thing of all, but that's not something you can force. When you love God deeply, he will send you a guru. But you will find that you can achieve freedom even in this life. Don't sell yourself short. You are even now a child of the infinite, a child of God. So, O oh child of God, be one with your own higher self. Joy to you.